214. 214 says find the electric field inside a sphere which carries a charge density proportional to the distance from the origin. In other words, as you move out of the sphere, the charge dense the volume charge density is some constant times how far away you go from the center of the sphere times the radius. Okay? For a given sphere and you need to figure out the electric field inside. Inside the sphere. So here we will use Gauss's law. We, we won't do it the way we were doing this before. Which, which should take a couple of lines, nothing more. Yeah. To do this. So, yeah, it's integrate. <clears throat> um. You have symmetry because this is a sphere. So this enables you to use Gauss's law. So, uh, so here, this is easier done using Gauss's law. So you're going to say uh, the integral of EGA on a closed integral is equal to Q enclosed over epsilon. Where Q enclosed is the, so this has uh, surface ch uh, charge density rho and uh, the radius of the sphere is R. Okay, and you are going to consider a Gaussian surface that's actually inside right has to be symmetric of course my figure doesn't reflect that but you get the idea this is the Gaussian surface this is R that enough hint so you have to evaluate this using that Okay, so uh, then once we write Gauss's law, this is the Q enclosed in that red Gaussian surface. Um, and uh, since this is a non-homogeneous uh, charge distribution, in order to figure out Q enclosed, uh, we will have to integrate. So Q enclosed is equal to rho d tau on that V. And uh, so this is equal to rho, uh, which is kr, uh, and d tau is just uh, r squared sine theta dr d theta d phi, and uh, triple integral from zero, uh, let's call this r prime from 0 to r and theta goes from 0 to pi and uh, phi goes from 0 to 2 pi and uh, so if we evaluate this we get k let's put a hat to distinguish this from the bound so this is r cube dr from 0 to r and uh, sine theta d theta from 0 to pi, this will give us a 2. And uh, d phi from 0 to 2 pi, this will give us a 2 pi. So this becomes, so q enclosed equals uh, uh, 4 pi, and we have r4 over 4 from 0 to R will be the same. So this goes away with this and we get uh, a pi over 4. We get uh, uh, R pi R to the 4. Uh, now uh, back to Gauss's law. So EDA E dA equals Q enclosed 
over epsilon. Now, this is a sphere. Uh, at the surface of the sphere, dA points outwards, the vector, and E also points radially outwards. And because of uniformity, uh, which means E will be the same all around the sphere, I could pull E outside the integral, and dA just becomes A, and the angle between them is 0, so cosine 0 is 1, because this is the dot product. So this becomes EA equals Q enclosed over epsilon. Now, uh, the area of the Gaussian surface, the red surface that I drew here, is 4 pi r squared. Uh, and uh, and uh, Q enclosed, we found out it was uh, uh, pi r4 over epsilon. And uh, so now if I uh, divide, I will get E to be uh, pi cancels the pi. So I will get uh, r to the 4 over, uh, uh, actually r squared, because uh, r4 over r2 is squared over 4 epsilon. Oh, and there's a k here. We forgot the k. There was a k here, which puts a k here. So this is k r squared over 4 epsilon. And this is definitely in the radial direction. So this would be the electric field inside the sphere. This is for r less than r. Now, of course, if I want to consider outside the sphere, uh, I could go that extra step. So outside, I know that uh, I would draw my Gaussian surface outside, and now Q enclosed is the entire charge. So it's rho d tau over the surface of this of the entire sphere. So this will be the same, except uh, instead of uh, zero to r, it will be zero to big R. So I will get pi r4 times k. And now Gauss's law will be the same. So e times 4 pi r squared. Uh, so if this is my sphere, uh, this is r, uh, my Gaussian surface would be here. And uh, this would be, uh, oops, this would be my r. And uh, this would be big R here. And uh, so I will get uh, equals Q enclosed pi r4 times k over epsilon. And so my E would be uh, k r4 over r squared epsilon. And there's a 4 here. And this is definitely in the radial direction. So this is outside the sphere.